go time. All right, today we're going to talk about the fire doggies. Flamebender Kagraz. Flamebender. Flamebender. I like this fight. I like this fight a lot. Both as Mistweaver and Windwalker. It's a lot of you fun. You actually like this fight? I actually do like this fight. I, Except for uh, when my tank doesn't turn at 90 degrees. I, I have the personal opinion that this fight is like no better than a trash mob, but that's just me. <laughs> yeah, like you're, easy, you're yes, quite fun. disappointed with it. Uh, well, my disappointment, I guess, lies the, in Mythic, but because mm, right. the Mythic is the 100% same fight, except you have four dogs, and you counter that by just having whoever gets fixated face tank it, and you cleave them all down, and they die really fast. That's that's, that's disappointing. <laughs> well, let's talk about Brewmaster. All right, so on a happier note, uh, you can use Dave to get threat on the dogs when they pop out. Um, this is really important, particularly for the first when the first one goes out and is fixated, if you're not face tanking it near the tanks, um, they won't have threat on them. And then what ends up happening is that fixated target, they decide that they're delicious and tasty, and they make a dog snack out of them. So you can use Dave to get quick threat on them. If you really need a quick threat, you can also redrop Dave near it and taunt off Dave. Even if that dog is out of range, it will come flying at you like a bat out of hell. So there's hmm. that. Um, you can also immediately throw Dizzying Haze if they're out of melee range, uh, particularly in Mythic, but it happens sometimes in Heroic too. The dogs will be like opposite sides of each other. So you can't just like turn and keg smash one and get them all. So if you throw Dizzing Haze on them, instant slow, because hunters are a little slow sometimes. Sometimes you got to help them out a little bit, you understand. Um, and then, of course, don't forget to touch death when you're helping out, but make sure you use it on the second one to die to ensure it dies quickly enough, because if you have a Windwalker in your raid like I do, you know they're going to touch death as soon as that shiny bite and lights up, because it just screams at them, free DPS, free DPS. So I'd recommend saving for the second dog, but just make sure you get it off. It helps a ton. A lot of damage. Um, so far as talents and glyphs, uh, Zen Sphere, mostly single target fight with the small bit of AoE and or cleave with the dogs. Not huge, and there is that little explosion from Zen Sphere. You can have two of them go off because if you're a good monk, you have both of them at the same time. Even if you're not as good with it, you have one. Um, don't worry too much about the chi burst there. Um, for your defensive tier... Diffuse Magic looks really good, and your mind probably goes fire damage. Diffuse Magic, big burst of fire. But it only lasts for one breath from the dogs, which is what's threatening, and you want to mitigate as many of those as possible. Damp and Harm can take up to two, because uh, a melee swing will probably end up removing one of those charges anyway, and it's better to reduce two of those breaths by 50% than one by 90%, particularly because mm. the third breath always hits really freaking hard. Um, I actually died in our kill video because I screwed up my cooldown on the third breath. It hurt a lot. Wow. Um, Shuen, it's going to be your talent of choice, obviously. There's a little bit of interestingness here with how you can use it because if you're full on meter padding, you're probably going to pop it like on the dot and he will be up for the second set of dogs. If you want to be more tactical with it and you're for groups a little bit slower to where you don't kill her before the third set of dogs, You'll probably want to save Schwen for the first set of dogs, and he'll be up for the third set of dogs. And he does a good bit of cleave and helps get them down as well. Um, and then finally for 100, Chi Explosion. Just take Chi Explosion, please. There's bosses that hit hard enough to warrant Serenity. Like, you don't even purify that often. Chi Explosion is fine for that. And while Soul Dance looks attractive for the dog breath and then the dot in the right after the Firestorm... The breaths are cool down through, so you'd kind of be wasting Soul Dance in that respect. And the dot isn't that bad because you're tanking the boss for like a couple seconds at a time and you're switching. And then you're, if you have a Pal Holy Pal in your raid, their beacon's going to take care of it. So just go Chi Explosion, squeeze out the extra damage, help cleave down the dogs faster. And that's Brewmaster. All right. Fantastic. Any questions there, Air, for me? Me? I don't think so. Um, no. No. It's it's a kind of a it's a fun fight to tank, and um, especially with the statue taking that first breath. I mean, that's a huge, a huge thing that you can really you know, mm -hmm. mitigate a ton of damage. Yeah, with. that's a that's a big tip to anything to mitigate one of those breaths. Is, it's going to be really useful. So, thank you for that. Yeah. Let's go, Windwalker. Windwalker. So, it's not an overly difficult fight. Stay out of the bad. Um, the but it's you know basically single target. When the dogs do come out, you know, you are able to use Storm Earth and Fire, depending on what kind of strategy you want to use. So, if you're a stack and cleave, put them on, go ham. 
you know, some of the some monks prefer to use chi explosion for this part, especially if they have really high chi explosion single target damage, and they exist. You can go out and see it. Yeah, Ivy, um, for example. Yeah, and um, <laughs> so if you're, you know, that's something you can definitely do. Otherwise, I personally, I stick with Serenity and just make sure to try to line things up for when the dogs come out. When doing that, though, I typically will put my clone on the unoverheated dog because everyone's going, you know, trying to push that first dog as quickly as possible because on my particular raid, we keep the dogs relatively split. So I put a clone on the on the unoverheated dog and is, so that my clone's on that one longer. I just dance by the boss and um, once everyone switches dogs, then I can quickly go back and, you know, help out any other dog if need be. You just dance around with that. It's kind of nice. Yep. With Touch of Death, so this is where you, you know, I know that a, you were talking, Blue, about the Windwalker. We see your little, our little weak aura come up. We, oh, the first dog, it's getting low. It's getting low. I'm going to do this. I'm going to touch it. I'm going to do it. Yeah, hold back. Yep. And Kindle's a bitch. <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. That, you don't that's want it. that to go off. Absolutely. You don't want that first dog doing Kindles. So save it for the second dog, or as you see the first dog getting down there, then go hit the second or the first uh, second dog, first dog. And if you have multiple monks, that's a lot of damage right there. If you happen to have the the the, uh, the holy trifecta, Mistweaver, Brewmaster, and Windwalker in one raid, that's a lot of. A lot of, that is a lot of damage going out. A lot of days. death. A lot, yep. of, a lot of touchy death. So, um, as far as, you know, talents, Diffuse Magic will give you, if it's getting a lot of stacks uh, during the Whirlwind phase, which really it's not too much damage even on Heroic, typically go for that, especially if you're going to be, you know, have to run through a fire line or you don't feel like moving. Um, and ample use of touch of death. Yep. Or touch of touch of karma. Touch sorry, of sorry. karma. Use it touch all of the karma. time. Yep. So that's all I got. It's not of an overly difficult fight. So all right. So Serenity. You tend to go Serenity. Um, uh, I, I tend- do like Serenity. Yeah. I like to. I like the play style of Serenity personally. So. I, yeah, I still have to get used to it. Um, I'm, I'm in Chi Explosion like most fights, and then when I switch to Serenity, it's like. I have to get used to the rotation, mm-hmm. and that screws me up a lot. But when it when it when it actually hits and everything converges and R and Jesus blesses me, oh the numbers, so good. So mm-hmm. I have to ask: Can you be a complete scumbag and use Touch of Karma and stand in front of a dog breath? Yes or no? For one, yes. So one you every dog s- phase, you can scumbag. Confirm. Yeah, but Got I it. tend to save Touch of Karma for the uh, for the firestorm. But if you diffuse magic it, you don't need to touch karma. And then you need yeah. to find somewhere else to Well, Firestorm there. lasts for more than 12 seconds, so right? Yeah. Firestorm lasts longer than diffuse magic, so you can scum back. Your healers will love you for their padding numbers. Right. But I'd see, I think the fire breath, in Mythic, that may be, that may be pushing it. Um, but yeah, I, know we'll I, sur- I know I survive yeah. getting hit in Heroic. Mm-hmm. Um and so I know you can definitely touch a karma that and stand in one. The second one I think would probably kill you regardless. Mm-hmm. So yeah, <laughs> go big or go home, chai. Right. And I will add in Zen Sphere because Zen Sphere is fun. Right. I like it. Yeah, Zen Sphere is good. I don't know how good it would be in in this fight because you only have one stack group. But if you're putting them both in melee, not too bad because the melee is taking a lot of damage. So. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, a little bit I, extra I boss Zen's damage. Fair. Yeah, Zensphere would be okay. I think that'd be good in this fight. Uh, let's go ahead and go to Mistweaver here. So, as you're not really targeted by any of those things range has to deal with, like the, the falling meteor and the running into melee and blah, 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 uh, just chill out by the melee behind the fire lines. It just don't care. Have fun. Sit there. Relax. Have a martini. It's good. Uh, just watch for them when the dogs are facing um, and avoid the breath because you don't have Touch of Karma. And it sucks. Uh, and also be sure to move into melee when the meteors are about to hit because you want to s- spread that damage out. Um, let's see. For talents and glyphs, due to my mana issues, anyways, I go with Joanne here. 
But hmm. if you have the mana to sustain it, Rushing Jade Wind has some real usage here as melee will be taking big hits every time there's one of those meteor drops. So you can hit that in Serpent Stance to help top them up really quick. Uh, and there is one, f this is the one fight that seems to be made for Breath of the Serpent. We actually get to put Sean the Puking statue. Sean? Yes. Okay. Sean. It's making sure yep. roll out yeah. here. S, S E A N. Yes. So, uh, Sean the Puking statue, you get to put him right outside of the group after you've stacked. Wait for the, the dots to start hitting. Hit it. You get half of revival every time. It's fantastic. So, and it's just sitting there puking all over you and it's happy. Happy times. Um, I tend to go with Diffuse Magic, obviously, for this one. So, same as, it, same as the Windwalkers. And uh, other than that, pretty, pretty easy fight. Just heal up melee and try not to die. I'd probably go Zen Sphere as well. So, all right. Good for all the specs. Right. A lot of fire. There were orcs. It's Siege. Right. Well, let's move.